plaintiff, Kenneth Scanlon, says he and the defendant were involved in a casual sexual relationship, despite the fact that the defendant had a boyfriend. Kenneth claims when the defendant turned up pregnant, he knew he could be the father, but he petitioned the court for a paternity test today since her boyfriend could also be the father, and he's suing for emotional distress. Defendant Amber Reed insists she didn't start dating her boyfriend until after she and Kenneth ended their relationship. Amber admits that she didn't know if her boyfriend or Kenneth fathered her child. And once her sexual relationship with Kenneth was exposed, her boyfriend broke up with her. She's countersuing for harassment. Start with you. Um, about two years ago, I met Amber Reed. Um, I was originally from Chicago, Oak Forest, Illinois. Um, I moved up to uh, Augusta just to visit my family members. Um, I, uh, in September of 08, I, uh, we started beginning to uh, just have a casual relationship, just no strings attached type thing. This went on for about four or five months. Um, I then, uh, she told me she had a boyfriend um, at the time. I just, it was just a, you know, just a casual thing. The last time we had relations um, was in, uh, January, um, I believe January 10th, sometime around there. Um, yeah, let me say I, I appreciate your uh, your polite and sophisticated way of uh, saying it. Uh, last time, most folks will come in here and say, "Last time we had sex," and that's a little more <laughs> that's a little sorry. more raw than I'm the sorry. way you've put us. I, no, no, I'm telling you, I'm complimenting you, telling you I appreciate it that you would say had relations <laughs> go ahead um she uh she called me about two weeks after the last time we had had relations um mm -hmm. she had told me that uh <laughs> she told me that she was pregnant and that i could more than likely there's a good possibility that i could be the father um at that point that was when i caught on that she really was telling the truth about her having another boyfriend at the time um why was that the point no uh, she told me that there was a chance that i could be the father uh -huh. and i could not be the father so i just okay so you immediately said well no nope, she got that boyfriend he's probably yeah. it <laughs> <laughs> go ahead well so um, when we had relations when he and i um i wasn't i didn't have a boyfriend at the time i okay. started dating him afterwards after we ended our relationship Started dating the boyfriend after yeah. you and he ended your relationship yes. all right go ahead Okay. Um, well, uh, we had got together. Um, we were talking on the phone because um, we were living in two parts of town. Um, I don't have a license, so I don't. I don't drive. I don't like to break the law. I'm kind of. I don't know. Anyway. Um, <laughs> well, you're a perfect citizen. <laughs> no, not really. I'm not squeaky clean. You've been raised but, very well. Um, Compliments to your parents. You <laughs> don't drive without a license. You obey the law. You don't refer to. Sex as sex. <laughs> Very polite in doing so. So no, your parents deserve uh, compliments. I wish my sons were like that. No, seriously. But go ahead. Okay, so we, me and Amber were talking on the phone, and uh, she said that uh, she would like it if we kept it just between us until the baby was born. Um, and then we would go out and get a paternity test done, and we would go from there. Defendant Amber Reed admits that she doesn't know if the plaintiff or her ex-boyfriend fathered her daughter, but they took a paternity test today to find out the truth. Let me ask, ma'am, is he testifying correctly thus far? Yes. All right, go ahead. I, I would text her every now and then, but for the most part, I kept my distance for the nine months during the pregnancy. Um, Why? Just because that was that was her that was her witnesses that was that was her wishes. She wanted, didn't want me around okay. at the time because um, I asked him not to be around. I just asked him not to tell everybody. But me showing up would have people would have figured it out. So yeah. um, she's kind of headstrong like me. She every time I'd ask her for help, she'd say no. I got it. I'm all good. My dad's helping me out. Um, I uh, the baby was born um, August 25th, 2010. Um, I didn't find out until August 25th, 2010. August. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm 2009, I'm sorry, Your Honor. <laughs> That's a good point. Go ahead. Um, I didn't find out until September 10th, 2009. Ma'am, you didn't call and tell them? Um, I had a scheduled delivery due to complications, so I, got, I called him when it got scheduled, which is a week before. And so he knew already, and that's your point. And even though you say you didn't know until a, a week afterwards. Go ahead. So um, afterwards, um, 
after I found out, I asked if we were gonna get the fraternity test. The first couple of times, um, she had said that it was gonna be me paying for it. I was completely fine with that, uh, paying for it out of my own pocket. Um, the first couple of times that we did have it set up, I did cancel out because I, uh, I didn't have the money. Okay. Um, jobs in the Why you set it up then? If you knew you didn't have the money to pay for it, why would you allow her to set something up that you could not pay for? But go ahead. I really wanted to get the test done. And um, you haven't, and why yeah, haven't um, you? Well, I had it, I had it set up. Um, I heard myself, all that. Myself, why haven't Honor, you um, up through today? Is that because of money? Yeah, yes, Your Honor. Okay, um, but yet you believe you are the father or you are unsure? Um, I'm unsure, but I'm almost positive. I'm, okay, yeah. has she told you you're the father? In other words, yes, just what not other words? other people. She's, she's come over um, a couple of times. There was a four month period where she broke up with her uh, the boyfriend that was in question. Mm -hmm. um, and then she was coming over and she was, she was coming over to my house for about two to three months at a time. Um, so off and on about three or four days out of the week. Doing what um, to end the case? Just bringing over, just bringing over Gwendolyn and um, she would just be all like, here, go see daddy. Oh, and, uh, okay. And just, well, that's I, a clear I just, sign I just, that she I called himself you daddy. daddy. She Pretty said, much. go see daddy. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. What happened subsequently? Um, well, we talked about it and he said, well, at first he brought over, you can buy a kit at Walgreens and you mail it and they give you the results. He brought it over and then told me that he didn't have the money for it. And we made several appointments and he just, every time he couldn't make it or he didn't okay, have any he money. He says it was because of money, yet he told you to make the appointment, so he agreed to them. All right, what happened <laughs> after that? I got pregnant about the time that I broke up with him and started going out with another boyfriend. You didn't have a boyfriend until after the two of you broke up. Yes. And you were already pregnant at that time. I wasn't sure if I was pregnant because I didn't find out that I was pregnant until February. I was on birth control. When did you break up with him? Um, around the end of October. End of October. And in the February you were pregnant. How I many had months been, were you pregnant? Um, 15 weeks. Um, I'd been That's on, how many months? I'm sorry. I don't Three and a half months? Yeah. Go ahead. Well, I, I had been on birth control that I didn't have. Okay, that didn't work. So let's move and, right um, ahead. <laughs> I, I called him and I told him that I was pregnant and there was a possibility that he could be the mm -hmm. father. He just, he really didn't seem interested mm -hmm. or seem to really have many cares about it. And because perhaps you told him not to come around. Think that had anything to do with it? I didn't say that he couldn't come what around. What did you say? I asked him please not to tell everybody about what was going on, that I was pregnant. That he, you didn't want There's a possibility know. that he is the father but I didn't want him telling everybody. Okay. Because we have a lot of the same friends. It's pretty much right after I told him I was pregnant, he was in trouble with the law. He was in jail. I didn't hear from him at all. Um, he left me no way to contact him before or after he got out of jail. Um, I didn't hear from him for a very long time. And, you know, I just, he, f from what I knew him as, I, I didn't try to contact him because I didn't think he was. How make about him. now? Do you know who the father of the child is? Defendant Amber Reed admits that she doesn't know if the plaintiff or her ex-boyfriend fathered her daughter, but they took a paternity test today to find out the truth. Do you know who the father of the child is? I do not know for certain, but okay. I have you asked? your boyfriend to take a DNA test. I have. And what did he say? Uh, we took, we, he did take one and I did not get the results, but he says that How he got the results. How long ago did he take one? It must have been like a month ago. I haven't spoken to him. You haven't spoken to your boyfriend. He's not my boyfriend anymore. We broke up because of the problems that uh, Kenneth and I were so, having. So, have you called and asked for I, the results? I have. He refuses and what does to he speak tell to me. You? Huh? He refuses to speak to me. Okay. What name is on the birth certificate? My boyfriend at the time. Why did you put his name on there? Because he's the one that I started dating around the time that I broke up with. I know, but did Kenny? you believe he was the father? I did, yes. He put it down, he was there for the delivery. Okay, so why did you all need a test? Because when you put a name down, there's a presumption that that is true. You don't need a test. 
Well, that's why we took it is because of the problems that Kenneth was causing between us. It caused us to break up and what was it caused he doing? him to have what problems doubt. was he causing? He kept calling and he was harassing my boyfriend. He was harassing me. About what? Um, just getting the test done. And every time I'd make an appointment, he wouldn't follow. Did through you tell him the, the child is not yours? I did. And what did he say? Can we get a test done? OK. Did she tell you she had put her boyfriend's name on the birth certificate? Yes, she did. After I found All right. But yet born. you were still unconvinced. All right. Well, you're a good man. Like I said, your parents raised you very well. You want to make sure you're doing the right thing. Most guys would have said, OK, thank God. <laughs> it's his, particularly if they didn't know the woman very well and only been with him a few times. So once again, you're a good guy. All right, sir. And you've petitioned the court for paternity tests and you want emotional distress because you believe she's been playing games with you uh, regarding this paternity. Oh, yes, sir. All I right, do. let's go and get the uh, test, please, okay. Doyle. And we'll see. <laughs> and your counterclaim for harassment is for what? He said he didn't want anything to do with my daughter. He said that, you know, he just wanted to go away and that I should leave him that. alone. Should he want something to do with your daughter? Only if it's his, if only if she's his. But you had told him it wasn't. That's right. So how is I that did, harassment? Well, no, and I was happy with that. And that I was fine with him if he had... Well, what is the harassment? And, well, he kept texting me and calling me all the time. Saying me, what? <sighs> calling me vulgar names. Okay, and, let's see it. Y'all so you look down, you have some texts where he called, sir, did you call him vulgar names? I was giving you all these compliments and your parents all these compliments. And here you call the every story B and that. MF in the world. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> sure, you, you must have lost it that day. <laughs> oh, yes, sir, I did. For those just received text messages, or they got the sent ones too. Because there's more of the reason why I was tweaking out that day. Because what again? There was more to the story of why I was tweaking out that day. It wasn't Tell just me why. because she had her um, 45 year old boyfriend or something texting my phone saying to stop texting their family, to leave them alone, they're happy, they don't care if I'm the father or not. I just want to know. That's all. I. I just, I just want to know so either I can either stay in Maine and try to look for a job or go home back Man, to Illinois. These look, these look two sentences where he uh, referred to you in a derogatory term. I'm not going to conclude is enough for harassment. You played games with him. You told him it was another man. It's just like you've played games today. Clearly you played games with him because you're going back and forth with me with a game. Defendant Amber Reed admits that she doesn't know if the plaintiff or her ex-boyfriend fathered her daughter, but they took a paternity test today to find out the truth. And emotional distress is outrageous conduct uh, committed by someone that will cause another party to be severely upset by it. Uh, I'm not going to conclude that she has caused you emotional distress because had you uh, gone to your parents who've done such a good job with you and asked them to pay for a paternity test for you all, we wouldn't be here today because indeed uh, you are not the father. Wow. So you and your efforts, unfortunately, trying to be a good man caused you a little distress there and caused you to go through a lot of hoops you didn't have to go through. All right, both your cases are dismissed. And I know you just came here to get a free paternity test. You're not kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a sad, mad type thing. I'm kind of happy that she's not mine, but in the same way, I'm kind of depressed. In the same way, if she would have been mine. I would have been depressed she was mine because I would have left all my friends back in Illinois. But I did get emotionally attached to her for the couple of months I was there. I'm excited and relieved that it turned out the way I wanted it to.